Hello everyone, Mr. Geislart here, and now we're going to take a look at number four on the Markov chain assignment, which is assignment number six. It says, developing countries often have a problem with too many people moving to the cities. Country X does a study and finds that in a given year, 10% of the country population moves to a city, and only 1% of the city population moves to the country. Suppose that in initially, 30% of the population lives in the country and 70% lives in the city. Set up a transition matrix and use it to find the population distribution after five years, round to the nearest percent. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to first start off by setting up a two by two matrix. Now, my two by two matrix has to be set up with my two states in it. So the two states we're going to have is either city or country. And so let's go ahead and put country on top and put city on bottom. That means that country has to go first here, and then city over here. So now remember, this side over here is my from, this side over here is my to. So what I'm going to do is say, first of all, it says in a given year, 10% of the country population moves to the city. So if they start in the country, of those country people, 10% of them will be in the city the next year, which means 90% of them will still be in the country. And of the city population, only 1% moves to the country, so that's 0 0.01, which is 1%, which means that 99% will still be in the city. So that's going to be our transition matrix. Then what we have to do is find our initial matrix. Well, it says initially 30% of them live in the country and 70% live in the city. So my initial matrix will just be a 1 by 2 matrix, where this is going to be initially 0.3 for country and 0.7 for city. So now what I have to do is multiply these two matrices together and that will give me my answer. So we always do the initial matrix first. So I'm going to take 0.3 and 0.7 in my initial matrix multiply it by my transition matrix, which is 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0.99. And when I multiply those together, since I want to use it to find the population in five years, I have to raise this to the fifth power. When I do that, I'm going to end up with a matrix that looks something like this, 0 0.2076, and I'm rounding that, and then the next one's going to be 0 0.7923, and again, I'm rounding that too. Now, he wants the answer rounded to the nearest percent, so this would be 21% live in the country, and this would be 79% live in the city. Okay, the next one says, well, what will happen in the long run? Well, in the long run, we know that just means if we raise it to about the 100 power. So in other words, the only thing that's going to change is this number right here. Instead of doing that to 5, I'm going to raise that to the 100 power. When I do that, I'm going to end up with a matrix that looks something like this, 0 0.0909 and 0 0.9090. So that will give me a value, if I round that to the nearest percent, of 9% will be in the country, and then we will have 91% will be in the city. And then the last one says, suppose an epidemic breaks out and the risk of contracting the disease is, is much higher in the cities. Now only 5% of the country population moves to the city, and 15% of the city population moves to the country. What will the long-run distribution be now? So my initial distribution hasn't changed. We're still starting with 30% of people in the country and 70% of the people in the city. But my transition matrix has changed. Now, of the country people, only 5% are moving to the city, and then the rest are staying in the country, so 0.95. And of the city people, 15% are moving to the country. So my city people, we have 15% moving to the country, which means we have 85% staying there. And since we want to know what happens in the long run, I'm going to raise that to 100. When I do that, I'm going to end up with a matrix that looks something like this, 0.7499, and this is going to be 0.2501. 
and that's going to be rounding to the nearest whole um, percent will be 75% will end up in the country and 25% will end up in the city. Now, remember that when you label these, this is the, the on top, we're going to put countries on top and cities on bottom. And then we have country and city. And same thing here, the first one is country and city. That's how that would be labeled.